Welcome, and thank you everyone for joining us for this concise and informative discussion by Dr. Michael Walt. Dr. Walt, you have many degrees and certifications in the areas of nutrition and health, including two board certifications in nutrition. You are a doctor of chiropractic with a master's in nutrition, and you are a certified nutritional specialist. Doctor, you have published successful books on natural health, and right now we will be discussing why improve your nutrition. Okay, so Phyllis sent us an email asking, if nutrition is so useful for disease treatment and prevention, as nutritionists say, mm -hmm. why doesn't my doctor recommend diet and nutrition beyond the very basics? Okay, so the question uh, that Phyllis is asking, I appreciate that question, Phyllis, is, you know, um, why nutrition, can it work? Why, don't, why doesn't my doctor recommend it if, yes. if it's so proven? Um, well, uh, I'm gonna give you a couple of answers regarding why your, your doctors may or may not uh, support nutrition, but we'll actually talk about the ones that don't. Uh, so, the, of course, it's gonna vary from doctor to doctor. They may have different physicians on this. Usually, it's, it's ignorance. Uh, mm -hmm. There's just not, the education's just not there. So, you know, if we're ignorant in any topic in life, uh, we just have nothing to offer to when, when a question regarding that comes up. I think the, the fair, best way to think about that sort of thing uh, for a doctor is to say, well, you know, I, I actually don't know, uh, so I'm either gonna refer you to someone who does know, but oftentimes patients will tell me that their doctor says that there's nothing, uh, no evidence for these nutrients at all, and they can't help you, and they're gonna harm you. Um, that, that's a very outdated approach that might have been true a few decades ago when maybe we didn't have quite as much study, but yeah. the amount of study now is a full-time job. When I see a patient, I certainly bring a certain amount of knowledge and experience, but I always tend to take a look at the medical literature, even if it's for a quick search, just to see what, what new things are there. So I'm going to the National Library of Medicine, I'm going to the Cochrane Database. These are two major areas of um, compiling libraries of all these different studies from all the major medical journals. There are positive studies on nutrition, there are negative studies. So depending on the health condition, there may be more or less evidence for it. But as I said in other videos, physicians in general, depending on their medical school, but on average, uh, only have uh, you know, 20 or 30 hours of nutrition education in five or seven years of study. Mm -hmm. you know, as you mentioned, I have two board certifications. I'm a dietitian, I'm a certified uh, nutrition specialist, I'm a sports nutritionist, I have a, a, just about 30 years in doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you know that, that, that has a different perspective than a doctor who's, first of all, may not know nutrition and isn't interested in it. Um, because uh, these studies are in these various journals. But you know, the internist might not read the Journal of Endocrinology. The endocrinologist might not read the Journal of Gastroenterology, which has all the nutrition studies. Okay. As a holistic practitioner, practitioner, I make it my job to read these various studies, or at least the abstracts or summarized versions, so I know what's available and I know the connections. Because medicine today is, is very disjointed, uh, even in the best case scenario. Each practitioner does their little thing and they do their sort of tests and uh, they don't communicate too well usually and uh, they're certainly not communicating about nutrition. So Phyllis, the, the answer uh, to your question is that depending on your health problems, uh, chances are there's a, quite a lot of evidence for the use of nutrition. Um, and when I speak with uh, physicians that uh, call me up uh, in terms of uh, when we wanna cooperate with a given patient and they ask me these nutritional questions, they realize in, in, in five minutes of our talk that there's plenty of evidence because yeah. I'm quoting it from their own journals. So, you know, I don't let that bother me anymore. And I do try to help my patients sort of give up the tension and stress and upset that they have against their medical physicians who just don't know these areas. I just usually point out to people, Phyllis, that, um, you know, for you to expect that your doctor should know all this nutrition is really unrealistic. So the frustration that you may have, although I understand it, is it's just misplaced. Right. Certain things in life, it's like choosing your battles. If they don't know nutrition, they don't know nutrition. So see someone who does, who also has preferably a doctorate in nutrition and one that allows them to measure blood tests and to do physical exams like myself mm -hmm. so we can put together protocols for the individual. So yes, there's plenty that nutrition can do. Of course, it varies on the conditions and all of those factors. But uh, yes, this was great. Yeah. Okay. This was excellent. Excellent information.